everyone and welcome to this info session the business of selling art my name is gloria gerd and i am the mother of makeup art what does that mean that means i paint beautiful pictures with makeup lipstick eyebrow pencil eyebrow shadow and foundation How did I start painting with makeup? Sorry to say, 10 years ago, a young relative died and the beauty was gone from my life. And I asked God, I said, God, please bring the beauty back to my life. And he did. Let me tell you what happened. My mother called and said, Gloria, I have some makeup for you. All I ever wore was lipstick. Guess what she had in the bag? She had rouge in the bag. She had eyeshadow in the bag. And she had foundation in the bag. Yes, she had a tube of lipstick in the bag too. What I did was I took the month off of September 2005 and I figured out how to paint with makeup. And I was just so excited because when I showed people the pictures painted with makeup, you know what they said? Gloria, I don't know anybody else who paint with makeup. So I said to myself, that's good because that makes me do what? It makes me stand out. And when I tell people my name is Gloria Gerd and I paint beautiful pictures with makeup, you know what they do? They stop. And guess what? They buy my pictures these pictures make them happy and they brought joy back to my life too in this section i will give you some tips on how to sell your artwork but i also will give you some pitfalls and tell you how to avoid those pitfalls so let's start with tip number one. Be true to yourself. Let me tell you what I mean by that. I painted with makeup and the pictures brought joy to me. And when I first started, you know what some people told me? Gloria, that looks childish. Gloria, other people not painting like that. And I thought, I really did think about it a little bit. And I said to myself, do I want to be like everybody else? And what was my answer? No, <laughs> you're right. My answer was no, I didn't want to be like anybody else. So when I told people I painted with makeup, you know what someone told me? They said, Gloria, you are a self-taught artist. I didn't know what a self-taught artist was. They say a self-taught artist is an artist that God gives your artwork and you paint it. Because I never took an art class. You know, the next thing they told me, because I was true to myself, they said, Gloria, you need to call Miss Huffberger at the American Visionary Art Museum. I called her and left a message. And the next day, Ted Frankel, the manager of the gift shop, called me and I brought my artwork down the next day. And I brought prints because everybody told me, all oh, the originals don't look nice. <laughs> so I brought the prints down to him and he said, Gloria, this is nice, but I want originals. 
and they have been buying my artwork for the past 10 years. And the number one reason was what? I have been true to myself. Tip number two. Let's be thrifty. What do I mean by let's be thrifty? Do not pay a lot of money for supplies. How do I get my supplies? How? Yes, I get them donated. I get them donated. And I like to thank everybody for their donations. But guess what? I need more donations. And where can you donate? You can contact me at gloriousart.com. Now let's talk about vendor fees. You have to be very careful with vendor fees because they can be very expensive. Now, what I do, I check around and I like sidewalk sales. Use your sidewalk sales, they're a little bit cheaper. And then I look at festivals, I look at galleries sometimes. Now, right now, I'm gonna give you a, a tip on some galleries that I use. Gallery 788. What they do is they have a show, they have a call for artists. You give your artwork to them, you pay them $10, you say what the price is, and they only take 20%. <laughs> right? Only take 20%. That's great because some galleries take 50, 60, and more percent. Another gallery, that I really like is Escape Artists in Baltimore City. They are just like 788. And I like them because they are for outside artists. An outside artist is artists that paint with something different. And that's what you have to do. Be different and unique. Let's talk about some other places you can go in Baltimore City, but these lots of times these places all over the country um help artists number one cafes cafes can be very reasonable one cafe is very reasonable and i had some pictures shown there and i was very happy about it and i did very well there is the evergreen cafe in baltimore city so please go there every month every month they let artists set up their artwork there and guess what they do not even charge any kind of commission let's give a yay for them yay 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 <laughs> another one bookstores bookstores great place to go and again they do not charge a lot when I first started, Barnes & Noble let me sell my artwork there. And recently, Yuguso Books um, in Towson. So I got to give them a plug. Yay. Um, again, you all, I'm down at the Baltimore's Farmer's Market and Bazaar on Sundays. Every Sunday, I'm there. And you can see my artwork and come see my bird. You know what kind of bird it is? The Baltimore what? The Baltimore Oreo. So come see my original Baltimore Oreo and be the first one to get it. You are, uh, it's very important that you join um, groups, art groups, but again, do not pay too much money. Uh, one group that's very well in Baltimore City, and I have joined them, and you get newsletters every week. They give you um, artist opportunities. I just love them. And it's the Greater Baltimore Cultural Alliance. I want you to get a pencil and paper now. 
because hopefully you writing this information down, but I definitely want you to write this website down. www.baltimoreculture.org. And people in other cities, you can go to um, your visitor. You have visitor sites or your commerce, and they will help you too. So write this information down because these places you can go reasonably to sell your art. We on tip number three. You got to be unique and special and look the part. You know I love looking the part. Let me take these glasses off. I want to show you my earrings. Can you see my earrings? Can you see them? You know what they made from? Yes, they made from soda tabs. Can you see my flower in my hair? Where my flower in my hair made from? Paper. Flower in my hair made from paper. I like to recycle. I think recycling is very important for two reasons. Number one, it brings joy, joy to your world. And the, the flower, I did not make the flower. I liked it. It's recycled and it's made from paper. Let me show you these marble earrings. I love these marble earrings. Somebody gave me some marbles and said, Gloria, can you do something with marbles? You know what my answer always is? Yes, I can. Because I'm going to do what? I'm going to figure it out. This is called calling, calling. You just take some wire and you twist it and turn it, but you have to know how to do it. And guess who know how to do it? You're right, me, but guess what? I will teach you and I can teach you to do what? What was that? Calling. And let me tell you another reason it's very important to be different and to be a folk artist. Baltimore City has one of the most popular folk art is museums in the country. And this museum is for visual artists. Anybody know who, the, who that museum is? What museum is this? The American Visionary Art Museum? Yes. So you want to be unique and special because you have a museum that has a gift shop with a manager, Ted Frankel, that approaches beautiful artwork. He, he purchased artwork and unique artwork from all over Baltimore, plus all over the country. So it's just very important to be what? Tip number three, be unique. Create something special, but also wear your creations. Tip four, very important tip for me. Be computer savvy. You have to learn how to upload and download pictures. I fought it for a long time, you all. I really did. Now I got a computer in my house. I'm updating my website. I'm updating blogs. And guess what I'm doing now? I'm doing an info session on the computer. So I'm really excited uh, about that. But seriously, if you cannot do this, you got to have somebody to teach you how to do it. My daughter, Latrice, she is right here. And she also has her own business that she can teach you. www.talentstays.com. And you can reach her at Latrice at talentstays.com. Because if she can teach me how to do this stuff, she can teach anybody. But it's very important that you know how to download and upload because you're going to have to complete grant applications 
People want going want to see your artwork before they allow you in a festival. They the museums going to see it, galleries going to, to see it. So it's very important. Ask your young people. Grandma needs to. Oh, did I say I was a grandma? Oh, don't believe it. <laughs> um, ask the young people. They will be glad to help you. Now, hopefully, hopefully, they'll be like my daughter and take their time and show you. Because sometimes they might go too fast. But we all know you have another alternative and you know where you can go for the alternative. Y'all ready? Latrice at <laughs> talestays.com. Another thing is very important. Social media. Let's talk about social media a little bit. Social media is the way that things are happening. It's the way that the word is pretty. Hopefully, People on social media, they talking about me, but also I want them to be talking about you. So you have to join Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. I, you all, for my daughter. No, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Guess what she told me? She said, Ma, I'm going to teach you how to do it. I'm not going to do it for you, but I'm going to teach you how to do it. And guess what? I'm so glad she did. So just ask someone. If I can do it, you can do it. And this is about selling your art. The more people that can see your art, the better. Make sure that you have email address. Make sure that you have a place that people can see your artwork, like a website. And make sure you have a place that people can see your artwork offline. You can connect and partner with people. You can check with people with shops. Like I say, you can go to the cafes. Again, where else you can go? Okay, you can go to the bookstores. You can go to restaurants. So this is very in, important. Tip number five. Tip number five. You always want to ask for help, but you always did want to talk about you. Every time I go somewhere, I always have to say, my name is Gloria Gerd. I'm what? Mother of makeup art. Where can you see my artwork? Everybody have their phones, right? Everybody have their phones. Where can I see your artwork? Now, I have some artwork in my pocket, but guess what I tell them? You can see it at GloriaZart.com. And they pull the artwork right up. And they have these mobile phones. And my website looks good. It comes up quickly. And you know who helped me with my website. Also, you have to ask for help when you need it. And let me tell you what I mean by that. I am not comfortable with the business end of it sometimes. Yes, you got to pay taxes. And yes, you have to go get a sales type tax license. And I'm not good at that. So sometimes you have to hire people to do it for you. Now, you know what I do? ASK. ASK. Can you help me with this? I'm just starting. I'm trying to save some money, but I want to do this. So ask for help. You know what I learned in life? People want to help you do something good. They want to help you succeed. So why not let them? <laughs> now, number six. 
look like an artist and go network. Let me tell you what network mean to me. Network means to me that we can connect and we can make each other some money. That's what networking mean to me. And when somebody told me, Gloria, um, that's $500 and you could do some networking. And I'm like, I'm paying the $500. What you gonna do for me? Well, I'm gonna give you a chance for people to buy your work. That's a big chance. That's a big chance. I want to look like the artist and I want people to come to me and say, oh, you look like an artist, are you artist? And I want to say, yes, I am. That helps a lot. That helps a lot, looking like an artist. When you network, you want to go to places for free. You want to go to the art exhibits. You want to go to some museums. You want to go to some openings. You want to go to some galleries. And you want to partner with organizations. What do I mean by partner with organizations? I partner with an organization, Jump for Joy. And she said, Gloria, I'd like to use your card, your artwork, and put them in cards and have a fundraiser with your cards. I said, surely I would be happy to do it. So these are my cards. They're $5. I'm going to turn it on the back. There's my picture. But I'm going to read to you what it says on the back. Hand painted with makeup by Gloria Gerd, Baltimore, Maryland, GloriaZart.com, produced in support of Jump for Joy Baltimore, a jump rope and mentoring group for youth at the 29th Street Community Center, Baltimore, Maryland. Kim Landis came to me with this idea, and I love it. It's been a win-win. That was a connection, a networking. That is what? A win-win for everybody. Now, we talk about win-win. I got to talk to you about some pitfalls that I have had and that I want you to avoid. Number one pitfall. Do not get so excited. Do not get so excited that when somebody come up with you for money and they say, oh, I want to pay $1,200 for this picture, but then they say, oh, I want to put it in your bank account. What are you supposed to say? No way and cut communication right there. Cut it. Pitfall number two, galleries. You have to watch out for that percentage in galleries. You have to know what you want based on your costs and based on your time and based on how you feel about the picture. All my pictures, babies to me. I put my heart and soul. I put my heart and soul in these pictures. I put my heart and soul in these pictures. So I want a good price for them. I don't want anyone taking advantage of me and taking all my profit, all my time. It just does not feel right. And guess what? It's not what? Win-win. I just had a situation where I became a member of a gallery and I gave them some originals and they said $30 a month. I thought I was gonna get an invoice for $30 a month. I didn't get an invoice until six, seven months later. I forgot all about it. It was $300. And I called, they said, well, we'll drop it to a hundred. They sold the picture and they kept all the money. So I'm like, okay, please do not go for that. Let's get back to tip number, I get to, Tip, what number tip we on? Okay, and we talked about partner with organizations networking. Pick number seven, be around positive people. Art is hard to sell. 
I sell it and I am blessed to sell it, but it's hard. What you want to do is be around positive people that are going to give you encouragement, that can going to help you spread the word about your business. And you know what you need them to do the most? Buy your artwork sometimes. That's very important. You want them to share with you. You want them to help you with the computer. You want them to help you with, with taxes. You want them to help you become that great artist that you can be. And being a great artist means also that you can get paid. Let's go to tip number eight. How can I make money with my artwork? How can I make money with my artwork? Let's see. Do I want to really tell y'all my competition? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> number one you have to truly believe in your artwork you have to truly believe that your artwork brings you joy and can bring somebody else's joy I always say that you want to have a fair price now Once I painted with the makeup, I painted the picture. I didn't know what to do with it. I looked at it and guess what? I didn't want to sell it. You didn't want to sell it? No, I didn't want to sell it. That's my original. So I went and made a copy, eight and a half by 11 copy. I went to Kinko's. I went to Office Depot, I went to Staples. And guess what? That print looked better than the original to me because I just layer and layer and put stuff on it. I'm like, no, I, I like this better. And guess what? I still didn't know how I was gonna sell it. So while I was making copies, color copies of my work, somebody came to me and says, that's a beautiful picture. And his name was Larry Scott. This is about 10 years ago. And he told me something. He said, Gloria, remember, it's about the art. So he says, you gonna sell these? I'm like, yeah, I would love to sell them. He says, you can sell these. So I'm already, he was a Baltimore artist famous Baltimore artist, and I'm like, great, but how much I'm gonna charge? Let me tell you what I did, you all. I didn't look around and see what other people was charging for this. And I'm like, I'm gonna have people give me what they are gonna give me. I asked for donations and I was just so surprised to get those donations and it worked beautifully but again i didn't put my originals of artwork out there we talked about this a little earlier okay so you can make color copies to sell your work now the value is in the original i talked about this earlier i discovered that from who ted frankel at the american visionary art museum he told me, Gloria, don't bring nothing down but originals to me. So I was selling my prints. Then I was selling my originals to him. Then I started selling my originals myself. When I started going to festivals and fairs, I started selling my originals. Now, that was great and it was nice, but you got you to gotta change. You got, you, you, I wanted to add on the things because lots of times eight and a half by 11 print is big. So when Kim Landis told me to make the cards, I was just so excited because what I could do with the cards, 
I could take the cards and have something for five dollars. And I could have something for five dollars that benefit me, but also went to a good cause, jump for joy. Another thing you can do, you can teach workshops. Now, as I was painting with the makeup, everybody say, that's recycling, upcycle. So I'm like, if that's good, right? I says, maybe I can use other things that people throw away to make things and make some what? Make some money while beautifying the world too. Because a lot of people say, yeah, Gloria, I recycle. I put that in that blue can and I put that in that red can. And I knew what I asked. What are they doing with it after you put it in the can? Now, if you make something with it, you know what's happening with it. Now, I want to show you these earrings. Can you see them? You can see them. You can see my butterfly earrings. Anybody know what these earrings are made from? They recycle what they made from. What did you say? Stickers? No, they're not stickers. They're not stickers. Okay. You say stickers? I got any of them? Ideas out there? Okay. Come on now. Y'all can think of something. Okay. I think I hear something. Okay. What you say? You said coloring book. No, not a coloring book. Okay. One more now before I'm going to have to tell y'all what they made from. Guess what? I heard the right answer. Wallpaper. They made from wallpaper. Somebody take the wallpaper down. Sometimes it come down and you still have some things left. They gave it to me and I made earrings out of earrings. Now, the, this, my headpiece, see it's backwards. Okay. Yeah. I know. Somebody else made this and I bought it. Okay. Again, because it was what? It was recycled. And I'm about supporting other artists, especially when they doing what? Upcycling, <laughs> Up, upcycling, very, very important. Another um, product that I'm coming out with and I'm happy about, um, I'm going to be doing some classes online. Yay for me. So um, hopefully you are looking at this and saying, I like her. Now, hopefully you got a pencil and paper. Because I'm getting ready to give you some more ideas. Jewelry. There's a lot of beautiful jewelry out there. I just bought some the other day from somebody. And it was beautiful. Now, I like to ask the people, what the jewelry made from? And they tell me. It made from precious stone. I want to know what kind of precious stone it made, it's made from. And I buy from people for two reasons. Number one, I like it. And number two, it's unique. It has to be unique. So I brought these really nice um, precious earrings. And I like them for two reasons. Number one, they were my birthstone red. And number two, they were glass and gold. I should have brought them down. So you want, when you make your jewelry, you want it to be something that people can say, oh, I can wear this with this dress, or I can wear this here. But I want to know about the jewelry. So even if you're making jewelry, I want you to tell me the story of it. That's what people always ask me. Gloria. What's the story behind this picture? So let me find you a picture that I want you to tell uh, the story of. I like this one. I like this one, okay? And I'm gonna show you another one. This one, um, 
Flowers by girlfriend um, Dot Ann. She said, Gloria, last year, uh, you want to be the art festival? I said, yes. She says, you got some flower pictures? I said, no. She said, you going to paint some? I said, yes. And I painted the flower pictures and I sold them at the herb festival last year. And it was great. And guess what? Guess who going to be at the herb festival this year? May 28th, 933 at Lincoln Park in Baltimore City. Yes, me. So come out and see. I got beautiful. I got lots of beautiful flower pictures. I got lots of beautiful flower cards because Kim Landis from Jump for Joy asked me to do a fundraiser with the cards. So I'm very excited about that. I got another story about a bird. Let me tell you about my birds. I just started painting the birds and the flowers last year. Um, I painted one bird and Ted Frankel the manager at Avam said, Girl, you need to paint more birds. So I've been painting birds and I love my birds. And one lady said, Gloria, you got a blue jay because her husband went to John Hopkins and what's there? Bird, the blue jay. Does that look like a John Hopkins blue jay to y'all? <laughs> Please say yes. <laughs> Now, I don't care what you are selling. It's yours. It's your art. Be enthusiastic. Be passionate about it. And I know sometimes that you might not want to sell it because it's it's your baby. I understand that. <laughs> okay, but like my husband, I'm telling you what my husband told me. Okay, Gloria, you can't eat that art. But I'm going to tell you what I do. My originals. They make wonderful copies, and I cannot tell the difference. So if you make something big, and you could take pictures of it, you could put it on cards. Uh, you could people put things on, on wood, and you could still get your bigger price. But as you are getting your bigger price, guess what you're doing? You're making funds. You're making funds. And you're making somebody happy. And I always say, get that good print. Get a good print because that's what I need because you all, let me tell you, it takes some of us to be hours and hours to, to paint. And I like to say, guess what, y'all? My talent has been passed down. My talent has been passed down. I got grandchildren that are very talented and I'm gonna be selling their artwork. My grandbaby Taylor, she is, she's eight years old and she's a wonderful artist. And I am just so, I'm just so proud of her. And guess what? My, I'm proud of my daughter, Latrice, because she uh, helped me with my website. She prepared my website. She did it for love, y'all. She did it for love. Did it for love. Okay, but she got to make a living. Got to make a living. Okay, Latrice at talentstays.com. Um, my daughter, okay, I got another daughter. My daughter, Latanya, she pays for my uh, mail account. I had my bail account 10 years. Then I have another daughter, Latoya. Okay, I wish I had a wallet. She makes beautiful, beautiful wallets from duct tape. <laughs> she made beautiful wallets from duct tape. And I'm just so proud of her. And she's an artist too. And I have beautiful grandchildren. I got to name all my grandchildren there. I got to name all of them, okay? Uh, Jasmine, I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for you. I'm going to be a great artist for you. So you're going to say, Gloria Gert. Oh, I do have the wallet, y'all. I, I, I'm sorry. I do have the wallet. Can you see the wallet made from duct tape? 
can you see the wallet? Maybe I need some more money in it. Need some more money in it. But see the wallet made from duct tape. Uh, uh, I got Jasmine in college. I got Brianna in college. And guess what? My art, okay, can help them and does help them. I got my oldest granddaughter, Sade. She graduated from Morgan. And yes, grandma helped with that because of her what? Art. I got Bryant, okay? He's seven. He loves to draw too. I got Braylon. He three. And I got Kevin. That's three. And guess what I give them? You know what I give them for presents? You know, I give them paper and crayon. I can't forget about Taunts. Taunts is in the 10th, in the ninth grade. Ninth grade. But guess what? I'm thinking about colors for you, Taunts. <laughs> I'm thinking about Grandma be selling some original artwork for you. And we have reasons. We want the sell of artwork so we have reason to be passionate about our artwork we have reasons to be energetic about our artwork and our artwork will sell let's go over some of these tips again let's go over some of these tips let's go over some of these tips again i'm gonna see if y'all remember some of these tips if you didn't get a pencil and babe out okay tip number one paint with something or make something no one has never seen before and gonna give you the what? The wow factor. Yes, people want to be wild. They want to be wild. And yes, they will pay for it. And be true to yourself. Pay yourself a living wage. You have a right, okay, to get paid decently. That's your right. Tip number two, be thrifty. You have a lot, pay a lot of money for supplies. ASK, X. <laughs> you have a pay a lot for vendor fees. Nobody don't understand. I'm gonna tell you the truth. They say art festival, and I'm like, without an artist, it wouldn't be an art festival. Why are you charging us all this money? <laughs> um, do not pay a lot of money for professional art group, especially when they're not helping you make no money okay and stay away from these galleries with these high percentages go to the cafes uh, uh go to bookstores go to fact festivals and go to farmers markets that reasonable sidewalk sales partner with organizations that can help you tip number four be computer savvy if you can't be computer savvy Okay, you go ask somebody, or I'm sorry, you might have to pay somebody. But in the long run, if you can make money and they can help you sell your work, it'll be worth it. Tip number five. Tip number five. You want to help family and as family and friends, or you might have to pay somebody when it gets to business um expenses because as an artist we want to make money okay but you want to do it right um point number six look like an artist be enthusiastic about your product be passionate about your product i live this stuff <laughs> network go to the exhibits Go to the galleries. Talk to other artists. Matter of fact, I um, talked to other artists at Sidewalk Sale. I wasn't there. And they told me about clear bags, about putting my artwork the, um, in, in the foam and in the clear bags. Okay. I thought that was a very important um, tip for me. Uh, seven, be around positive people, partner with people who doing well and who wants you to do well and number eight ways to make money you can make money one way i didn't show you can make money off of prints you can make money off originals you can make money off the 
computer doing these web noise. Did I say it right? <laughs> Okay. Did, did, did I say, say it right? So, again, you can make money off of cards, off of originals. One thing I didn't tell you about, my book. You, this is brand new. This is brand new, off the press. This is a book where all the words are hand painted dreams come true let me open up let me tell you what i mean these are some of my favorite inspirational sayings that keep me going that keep me going be kind be happy god is love capture the joy see the see the beauty so this book hot off the press you know you can get it from me at the farmer's market. It's not on the website yet, but it's going to be there soon. So now I want to open it up to some questions. And let me check with my producer over there and see if we have any questions. Because I love to answer questions. I do. I, I love to answer questions because... I want you to succeed. I want you to sell art. But I want you to feel good about it. I want you to get a decent price so you can make a decent living, so you can help yourself and your family too. That's such a wonderful feeling, y'all. Yay. <laughs> I have any questions over there. Okay. Now. I have some questions that people ask me. And the first one is, Gloria, what make you decide to paint with makeup? I'm going to tell you the truth. Two things. Okay? Again, somebody gave me the makeup. <laughs> but I read a book, and the book said, paint with something that no one else is painting with to be a successful artist. Do something that no one else is doing. So when my mother gave me that makeup and I figured out how to paint with makeup, do you remember when? September, 2005. I've been painting 10 years. So it's very important, again, that you paint with something. My mother gave me the makeup, but let me tell you a little story um, about how I really started in art. Um, I thought I was five years old and my mother would buy uh, a coloring book. Color, she would buy the coloring book and then she would give me paper, just paper. And I would draw the coloring book without tracing it. I thought I was five years old. My mother said, no, you wasn't five, girl. You were three years old. So I've been drawing a long time, and but when I got older, I stopped the drawing. I got interested in poetry. So I start writing poems. And this one poem I'm going to share with you all, because being an artist and selling my art and being able to do things with my art, just not for me, but for people I love, makes a big difference so it's like a dream come true to me so i'm going to recite this poem to y'all my dream even though i sometimes feel as it will never be in my sight my dream is something i have to fight for with all my might even though i sometimes think it will never be real my dream is something no one can steal even though I sometimes think if it will ever be in my reach, my dream is something I have to strive for and never let go down on defeat. Even though I sometimes cry because I think my dream will die, my dream has made me feel so alive. It has given me 
the determination to do all the things to make it come true. My dream, your dreams can come true. I want them to come true for you. And I hope these tips and this info session has helped you. And know what I think we should do as artists, because we are great people, we will give ourselves an A1 clap. And let me tell you what the A1 clap is. And then we're gonna do it together. You're gonna clap once, rest, clap twice, rest, clap three times, rest. One, we are great. Can y'all do it with me? Can you do it with me? Are you ready? No counting. The counting is in the mind, the counting is in the body, the counting is in the spirit. Y'all ready? Let's go. We're great. <laughs> this has been a wonderful experience for me. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I didn't want to do it, but I'm so glad I did it. And I would love to hear your comments because I really hope that you have learned something from this that you can take and sell your art and be successful because that's what I want for me and that's what I want for you and that's what I want for the world. And let me tell you something, I truly believe, I truly believe art healed my soul. And I think we need art for survival. We can make our own joy. We can make our own beauty and dreams can come true. I love, I, I love my little bluebird. Can y'all see my little bluebird? I'm holding up high now. I, I, I love this bluebird because I look at it and it reminds me of peace, reminds me of joy. And that's what we need in the world today. And that what art can do. If you are artist, please continue making, please continue creating for you. If it's going to bring you joy for you, because it took the sadness away from my heart and it brought joy to my life. And I'm so glad that I take the time to paint. I'm so glad that I take the time to be one with God and let him lead me. I'm so glad that I can paint beautiful pictures for the world to enjoy. I'm so glad that I can had people give me soda dads and I can make jewelry out of them. I'm so glad that I can make dolls from bottles. I'm so glad that I can make pictures from what y'all? Pictures from makeup. I'm so glad that I can make wreaths from toilet paper rolls. I'm so glad that I don't have to think, oh, oh, what, which one should I put that in, okay? And, and guess what? You go to my website, gloriousart.com, and you can see these beautiful things that can be made. Go to the art gallery and read more about me too, because you know I love to share. And I just want to hear your comments. I really do, because it was just touch my heart for somebody to tell me, Gloria, you made a difference in my life, girl. You made a difference in how I sell my art. You make a difference how I can help my family. You made a difference because you make me smile today, girl. That's what, that's what it's about. Greet the day with a smile because the overall plan is to be happy. It is, and art can make you happy. Art is the only thing that can touch your soul instantly. It's the only thing that can touch your soul instantly. In closing, y'all thought that was my closing, didn't y'all? <laughs> In closing, 
I would like to say thank you for joining in today because you didn't have to do it. It was a lot of other things that you could be doing. And I appreciate the fact that you want to share this time and your day with me. And I hope that I just made a difference in your life. But it's just great being an artist. It really is. It's great being a, a poet. Oh, did you know I'm a dancer and actress too? <laughs> so all of my dancers and actresses out there too. How do you do? So it's just very important that we remember what Larry Scott told me that it's about the art. It's about the art. And if I can leave you with one thing today, let the art touch your heart. Let the art touch your heart. Um, I'm, I am going to be doing other shows. I'm going to be doing other shows. So um, please join my blog. So you know about the other shows that I'm going to be doing. Where's my blog? It's on my website at gloriousart.com. And I would like to ask for suggestions for some shows. Also, I would like to ask for suggestions. What would you like to know? Because in my 10 years, this one hour cannot tell it all. <laughs> this one hour cannot tell it all all so also remember when you go to my website remember who created my website um latrice at tellerstays.com it's just been a pleasure being with you all today now i really hope you all like this because i like doing this <laughs> i really do i i think it's i think it's great uh, to share. This is my first one, my first time. And I just had a good, I just had a good time with it, but I would have a better time if I knew that, um, you benefit it from it and that, you know, that I'm here for you to, to ask questions. Um, you know, you can come visit me at the farmer's market, Baltimore city farmer's market. Um, I'm there every, every Sunday from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. Did I say 7 a.m.? Yes, I said 7 a.m. Okay, Gloria, you gotta remember that because you gotta get up 5 a.m. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that means you can't be painting bitches at two in the morning. <laughs> okay. Uh, you all know what I mean. Okay, we get inspired in the middle of the night. So it's it's been great. Again, I look forward to seeing you. And I want everybody to give themselves a great big hug, okay? Because you deserve it. You're beautiful. And you're loved. People need to hear that. People need to hear that somebody care about them and that somebody love them. And hopefully, I'll see you soon. <laughs>